All right, so we're going to momentarily set artificial intelligence and 5G aside. But before we do, just really quickly, just like what we saw with tobacco conglomerates that obfuscated health impact data of their products, that's what we're seeing with the telecommunication companies, right? They're doing the same thing, or at least in the realm of that. Yeah, we need more broadband real estate and telecommunication infrastructure uh, to keep the MAGAs and the NPCs distracted. But really, this stuff has a lot more nefarious implications, and we're going to be covering that more. I suggest if you want more about 5g i do have a couple of videos that i uh uploaded previously but let's go ahead and get in to today's topic listeners and subscribers hope all is well so just the other day i did the video where perry high school students were disrespected and disciplined for wearing make america great uh, apparel on usa day okay so i have an update for you the Attorney General has now been asked to look into possible free speech violations over high school MAGA attire. Okay, and this has happened in Arizona, Gilbert, Arizona. We're supposed to be a Republican state. Okay, I left California. Uh, a big reason, when uh, besides not being able to afford it, is the, the absolute political insanity that comes out of there. Okay, and this is just a, an example of how, what happens to neighboring states when you have this out-migration of states like California and New York. So I'm going to go ahead and read this here. State GOP officials are asking the state attorney's general office to look into possible free speech violations at a Gilbert High School after students say they were asked to leave campus for wearing Make America Great Again attire. In a letter to Attorney General Mark Brnovich, state Republicans are asking for an investigation into possible free speech violations. Monday morning saw protests outside of Perry High School in response to Friday's incident. A dozen people protested outside of Perry High School Monday morning just as students were coming in to start their school day. The protesters were seen wearing and raising flags supporting President Donald Trump. The protests occurred just days after several Perry High School students said they attended the school's USA Spirit Day wearing Make America Great Again apparel and carrying a Trump flag. Students said they were asked to remove their merchandise and get off the campus. The students added that it was because of what they were wearing and said that they were being punished for their political views. So you can't disagree with anybody because if you disagree with somebody, you're ascribed in wholesale a whole set of characteristics. Okay, but continuing on, Perry High School principal Dan Serrano sent an email to parents over the weekend. And in the email, Serrano said a group of students caused a disruption at lunch and then stirred up another scene after school. Principal Serrano said that only one student is actually facing disciplinary action and that it had nothing to do with politics. The one student will be told of their punishment later on Monday and if they will actually be suspended. So this is absolutely incredible. This is just a follow-up to what happened here. I thought it was interesting uh, because the video I put out said that the MAGA hat doesn't stand for hate. It reveals hate. And so much so that you have individuals like Jesse Smollett trying to artificially foment animosity between people. The liberals, they have to lie about what these conservatives supposedly do when the liberals are the one ripping these hats off of these individuals and yelling and screaming and assaulting them because they see a MAGA hat and then calling them a racist and a bigot when they're the ones who's attacking them because they have a different set of beliefs. This is absolutely incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to be careful. What happened to Arizona? I thought Arizona was a Republican state. Isn't Governor Doug Ducey now making this state a pro-vaccination state as well? I mean, <laughs> this is what this is a perfect example of what I've talked about before in my videos about the the political landscape starting to change when you have out migrations from certain states because of their policies and legislation. This is what happens. Come on, folks. We're better than this. Absolutely. We're better than this. California Carter signing off. <laughs>